5,980 pounds. This is a Summerlin 2720BH here at Haywood RV in Coldwater, Michigan. And uh, if you're a person who's looking for simple, no nonsense, ultra reliable, half ton towable, this is it. Um, Summerlins are uh, a member of the Springdale family. They're the ones with just a little bit less equipment, but a significant less price tag, but all the same build quality that makes us like Springdales. They are not a problem child. They don't come back for service. And this one still has some really intelligent equipment packages. For instance, we've got this neat little remote control power awning you see right here. It does have LED lighting, which is accessible from this remote control as well. Um, now, the trailer in this video does have some equipment that's not standard, uh, but, you know, we've got the power awning. This is how we typically equip them. Uh, we've got power awning, power lights, we've got power stabilizers, so everything on this is just uh, real push-button simple, and even the stabilizers can be uh, accessed right here from this remote control. I got bad lighting. But this is all touchscreen activated. It's USB rechargeable. There's USB charge plugs in the trailer, so it's, you know, easy to keep on hand. It's lightweight, it's smooth, it fits in your pocket. It's a handy little feature. Uh, we've We've got 30 inch wide baggage doors on your summer lens, which a lot of your more basic level family class campers have really small baggage compartments. They'll try to squeeze down money on those doors. Well, that means you can't get your big lawn chairs and stuff in there, but this one you can. A lot of these um, uh, family class bunkhouse campers do not have tinted windows that this one does have. That means that you have more privacy inside and it will keep your interior noticeably cooler, especially when you pull the shades. Uh, another neat thing is this does have their, uh, they call it their Arctic package, but it does have an enclosed underbelly to extend your camping season a little bit there. Um, now your, uh, your sidewall windows open for ventilation. We do have an outside utility shower here for handy little stuff. Uh, we also have a correct track uh, suspension alignment system. If you're not familiar with that, give us a call for details. But long story short, we have the tools and technology here to make sure that once your RV is loaded, um, your suspension is going to track straight so you don't get uh, uneven tire wear and suspension abuse, anything like that. Notice uh, we've got a dual entry door and the power awning does cover both entry doors. Both entry doors also have an easier triple step to get in and out. Uh, you know, the, uh, the awning covering both doors is a nice big deal to me because it just makes for, uh, you know, rainy day camping. It's just a lot more user friendly. Now your doors are also strutted so the wind can't rip them open. And this rear door is a direct access to both the bunks and the bathroom right there. So you're not going to have people tracking a bunch of dirt through your camper. It's just easier camping this way. Little outside speaker system does hook up to the uh, uh, stereo. And it's the little detail stuff in Springdale and by extension Summerland construction that makes me like them. For instance, they do not flush mount their speakers. They, uh, you know, have them extend out a little bit here. The reason they do that is because they're not really cool with the idea of drilling a four inch hole into your wall. So they only have to put a small little hole just enough to feed the wiring through for that speaker and they surface mount instead of flush mount it. It just does, it, it doesn't reduce structural integrity. Another thing, if you look up here, you see the thickness of these aluminum bands. You can see that right there. When you get up top though, they're only like one third the thickness and they double that up. Why would they do that? Well, the top metal up here is painted a little bit darker, so it's going to be more prone and susceptible to heat expansion and contraction. By making those panels smaller, they're reducing that expansion and contraction, and they're greatly reducing the stress on that wall to roof seam right there. That is a huge critical structural thing. Another big thing they do on these is their Dynaspan flooring. It's a seamless one-piece floor deck. It's actually 50% stronger than OSB. It's not light, it's not cheap, it's very strong. And, it, you know, if you want a strong house, you build it on a strong foundation. And that's a big reason why we don't have a whole lot of Summerland issues or Springdale issues. They have the same uh, build structure. Uh, this is called the uh, coffee decor. There's different interior options for these. So if you uh, like everything in this except the fabrics, we probably got a different one in stock. And at any point you want to see what we actually have in stock or how much it runs, I left you a link in the video description if you're just on YouTube. You can find that down here. And uh, it'll show you what we have, how much it is with its specific set of equipment. You'll also find links, weights, and tank capacities there for your convenience. Um, this is a great floor plan. It's got a slide out for rainy day, and they made it a U-dinette so you can squeeze more people around here. You still only sit four people at a U-dinette, but you can sit two people in front of the chair, which is a benefit here. A U-dinette means a longer slide as opposed to just a dinette slide, and that means more room for bigger windows. Your little remote control can clip in right here by the 
the door for easy access as well. Um, there are manual switches for everything on this, by the way, so if you lose your remote or it breaks, don't worry, your, your camper still works just fine. Um, where was I at? The dinette. There is full storage under that, and that will fold down into like a seven-foot bed, so if you need every ounce of sleeping space, this one can give it to you. Now, over here, this is great because you can use this as linen space, pantry space. Um, there's a second cabinet that you'll probably use for linen space, so this one will probably be mostly used for food. But what I like is how it's wide and easily accessible. I personally dislike long, thin pantries because they're hard to get into. This one, not the case, and they actually gave you nice handles here you can really get a hold of. Little stuff like that you take for granted, but not every trailer has things like that. We have central air. We have central heat. Um, family class starter point travel trailers usually don't have this. People come in all the time, uh, you know, the number one buyer of this trailer right here, this floor plan, is actually someone who came in looking for a used camper. They're, they're, you know, I'm looking for a used camper, I'm trying to keep it under 200 bucks a month. You can have this thing in your driveway for way less than 200 bucks a month. That's why these are so popular. Also, uh, because the way they laid this out is really intelligent. You still have a big slide, we have a nice spacious living room, but because it's not a big super slide, they don't have to make it a really big, long, heavy trailer. So it's less than 6,000 pounds, it's still comfortably half-ton towable, and it sleeps the whole family. And here's why. This rear entry door takes you, I mentioned, direct to the bunks. There's other versions of this floor plan out there, but I've never seen anybody else that does a double over double rear bunk like this. So, uh, you know, you've got more sleeping capacity here because you can sleep one or two kids on these easily. And we have dedicated kids storage over here, uh, including good dresser space. Now, uh, if the kids need entertainment, they did prep this wall. You see the hookups. This is ready for a flat screen TV over there. Again, that uh, entry door goes right to the bath. Um, so we do have a foot flush stool here, which is a nice user-friendly feature. We have good countertop space for like, uh, you know, blow dryers. And as silly as it sounds, they're actually including a medicine cabinet instead of just a mirror. Little stuff like that makes a difference. And in this class, you're going to find a lot of mirrors, not medicine cabinets. Um, again, here's that second uh, storage I was telling you about. This could be a pantry. This could be a linen space, it could be whatever you want. And notice how nice and bright it's been in here. The, uh, your your Summerlands have an awesome LED lighting package. I mean, it's lit right up in here. It's very nice, very bright and comfortable. Um, the uh, Other than just the slide out lip itself, the actual floor of the trailer is carpetless. So this is extremely easy to keep clean and, uh, and pretty much, pretty much everybody uh, has carpet in the bottom of the slides. The reason being, uh, this is where people tend to kick their shoes off and they don't want their feet getting cold. That's why a lot of brands do that. A little sprayer type faucet is also a nice thing. And while we're here in the kitchen, I do want to point out, we do have double sets of outlets and nice little spaces right here for like uh, blenders, toasters, whatever, all that stuff. Big sink too. You could give a baby a bath in that thing. Um, little neat touches. I've seen a lot of brands start going to the little residential uh, looking um, stainless fronts on their appliances. It just breaks up the monotony of the wood tones. Um, Common Central Island style entertainment center. Now, Summerlands do not include a TV from the manufacturer, but man, TVs are just so cheap nowadays. A little flat screen's easy to get. And if that's the only thing stopping you from buying the trailer, you give us a call. We got sharp pencils and we make deals happen. And by that, while I'm on that topic, I don't care where you live. I don't care if you live in Florida or Texas or California. We put deals together in your neck of the woods all the time. All we need is an opportunity. Now, this is cool. This is AM, FM, uh, and Bluetooth. It uh, pretty much does anything you need it to do, but what's really neat is there is a free Jensen app you can get on your Android or iPhone where you can turn your phone into the remote control for that. It's an upgraded chipset. It's actually fairly expensive. It's a really nice component, and Jensen stuff is made for the RV business. It's not the cheaper dollar uh, option. It's, it's very good stuff. I like Jensen stuff because we don't see it back in our service center. That's also the primary reason I like Summerlands. We do not see these back in our service department. They stay in your driveway. So like I said, if you're looking for something that's not going to break the bank, it's going to take the family camping and be ultra reliable, you found it. Plus, we've got Nicer lighting, nicer AC, central heating. We've got the power awning. Uh, we've got the LED lighting. It's all remote control accessible, power stabilizers. This is simple. And if you do need uh, your CPAP breathing machines or you like to charge your phones by your head or something, you do have power outs right by the headboard, which is neat. And even little user-friendly things like this, like a little laundry chute. So what you do is you're going to throw your laundry basket right down there. 
And as a person who goes camping, I can tell you, finding a place for your dirty clothes from the day is actually kind of tricky in a lot of trailers. So having a spot for that is right there. And then when you get home, you're tired. You're gonna open that baggage door, grab the laundry basket, and take it inside and you're done. That's it. That's, it's all those simple little factors that go into this that make it so darn popular. Um, and and they're, again, their reliability is fantastic. When we get used Springdale's and Summerlin's in stock, they usually last about a week because people know. It's, it's Keystone's, uh, one of their original brands, one of the very oldest brands from Keystone. They've been building these a really long time. They've got it dialed in. They know, uh, you know, they, <laughs> I guess you could say over the years they worked out the bugs. There just aren't bugs in these anymore. So give us a call. Learn more. 800-256-5196. Halo RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.